thank you. Uh, two quick questions, uh, one for the community and one for my own sanity. Um, I feel we are in the middle of the process of dumbing down our nation. It's evidence by the fact that one side is easily manipulated by the lies their quote unquote leadership feeds their hourly by social media and by frankly their lack of education. The easiest people to leave are the least educated among us. And America being ranked 58th in the world in education is quite appalling. My question for the community is when our government is going to start taking education more serious, as serious as our defense spending. And thanks for yeah. your yeah. Take it serious as our defense spending and increased funds to our soon to be broken education system. My question for my own sanity is if you will be serving on any of these committees to offset the lunacy and circus I expect will come from the Republican led congressional. Amen. Amen. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your brilliant effort to them and Clay Higgins for having spoke to Ray Salter during the fossil fuel hearing. And congratulations on your engagement. Thank you. are not official yet. I anticipate that those assignments should be finalized next week. So I fly back to DC on Tuesday and I'll be in DC next week. I anticipate when we get there, we're gonna have those committee assignments finalized. So I can't say anything for sure, but the way that generally things work and from what we've heard um, as well as, as uh, through some of our conversations is that it seems as though on the Republican side, they have appointed Warren Boebert, Marjorie Taylor Greene, and Paul Gosar to the House Oversight Committee. A committee that I have four years of seniority on and have been uh, assigned to, whose new, well, new ranking member, so every committee, you kind of have the top Republican and the top Democrat. And if you are the top member of that party from the majority party, you become the chair. And if you are the top member of the minority party, you become the ranking member. Um, which is why control of the House, majority of the House is so important, because if there's a Republican majority, all the chairs of the committees are Republican. And if there's a Democratic majority, all the chairs are Democrats. Um, but uh, now the ranking member, the incoming ranking member, will be Congressman Jamie Raskin uh, of House Oversight, an incredible human being. Have served as Congressman Raskin's vice chair on the Civil Rights and Civil Liberties Subcommittee of the House Oversight. Um, usually when you are an incumbent on that committee, you have first preference to decide if you stay on that committee. And so that's usually how it goes. My intention is to stay on the House Oversight Committee and provide um, full support uh, to Ranking Member Raskin and we're also going to have to kind of manage this clown car that's going on, <laughs> on the other side. And so, um, so that's what we're doing there. But in oversight, what that means is that the chair determines and authorizes when hearings go on um, and what subject matters, you know, happen. So we can't necessarily, if they want to go after Hunter Biden's laptop and do this whole thing with it, we can't stop them, but we can embarrass them. Um, so there's that. But I will say that in the past, we have been able to secure certain bipartisan hearings. Now, depending on the incoming chair, uh, uh, Congressman Comer, uh, we will see what his appetite is to continue doing that. But I do want to say some of the past areas where we've been able to have bipartisan uh, consensus, believe it or not, uh, we held a hearing late last term on bipartisan solutions to cannabis reform. We, in the past, have held bipartisan hearings going after uh, de defense contractors and abuse of our public funds by defense contractors. So those of you who don't know, uh, the, the Department of Defense is one of the only agencies that have not really been able to pass an audit. And so you're right, we shovel so much money there. I vote against the defense budget every year. Uh, and one major reason of that is because of this just complete lack of accountability. 
And we know if you've been a teacher in a school, every single penny you spend must be accounted for. Every single dollar in healthcare, in all of this. Um, so when it comes to helping people, we, we are like this. But when it comes to our defense budget, I mean, the amount of waste and abuse and fraud is out of control. So in the past, that has been a point of bipartisan hearings. And I've been able, through my questioning, to uh, really go after some of these contractors that have actually resulted in, in getting funds back um, from them. Uh, but it, it really depends on what, they're, uh, what, what they choose. Like if they decide to try to hold some bipartisan hearings, we might be able to get some progress on that. Um, our, our alternatives is, that, uh, is to start sending letters directly to the Biden administration on some of these issues. And uh, we've already started doing that with respect to some issues around immigration, defense, et cetera. Uh, because, you know, whether it's a Democrat or a Republican, oversight is necessary.